Hello, this is Thomas Kubica and I'm here with a yet another demonstration of the ClearPass guest functionality and this time we're going to see how you can add your own uh, fields into the login screens to gather some information about your guests. So let's go to the ClearPass guest and click here on the fields section and we will create a new field. Uh, we put some name to the field and in my case, sorry for the Czech language, this is uh, something like your uh, favorite internet magazine or your favorite uh, blog site. So I can put some description here. This uh, will be type of the string. There will be some column title uh, as to how it is uh, going to be visible in, in the database. Um, we can specify some things, uh, really a lot of things um, to, to limit, you know, the, the, what you user can actually input and things like that. We will do this as a checklist and the checklist will come with a name which is basically your favorite uh, blog site. And what are the options? So uh, there are two magazines which uh, the user can choose from. Um, uh, the one thing is what is uh, in the database and what is visible on the website. So on the website we have uh, special characters. In a database we want it to just a uh, simple like that. Okay, so th this is the field which we have created and we're pretty much fine with that. Uh, so let's just save it. Okay, now let's go to the guest self registration. We have this already available from our previous uh, previous video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it a little bit. So I go to the form section and I want to uh, change things here. Basically what I want is add that new field we have just created. So let's uh, let's do this. After this we will add a new field and let's find in the list the one we have just created. Here it is. Okay, so that's it. That's that's a new field we have put together. We can change things here again. We don't want to do that. So we will just save this. Okay, and let's let's check how it looks. And here we go. There is a favorite block section and those two things the user can can choose from. So we're pretty much done here. We can now go to the to the, my phone, and here you can see that during registration I have those uh, new options available. So let's uh, let's just uh, register a new user. Okay, some uh, email address here, and then I will say, okay, I like the first block site better, and I accept the terms and conditions, and then I register and I can log into the network and we have actually seen this in action in our previous examples. What is different here is I can go to the manage accounts, find the route account, click on it and what I will see is if I go into the details I can see uh, uh, the user responses. So I can do some surveys like that or gather some additional information. Here we go. That's uh, that's the result of this uh, poll or initial registration uh, field or whatever, how we, however we want to call it. So let's uh, just uh, uh, have it on the screen here because it is kind of very important for me. So I want this GUI to show it right away so I don't have to click inside of the guest user to actually find this out. So let me put this on the screen like that, use this view and here you can see I have a new column here which say what was the responses for the question I had during the registration.